Hello, and thank you for giving us the opportunity to show you our newest and simplified solution to complete data protection and recovery, ArcServe Unified Data Protection. Welcome to the ArcServe UDP trial download video. Now before I start, let me give you a brief summary of our new Unified Data Protection, or UDP, product, which features assured recovery, a transcending solution that combines state-of-the-art backup, recovery, replication, and high availability technologies, all rolled into a simple, consolidated user interface. Now you can back up your entire environment, whether it's physical, virtual, or both, with one simple solution. But more importantly, you can also recover all of your data whenever you need it. Here in this diagram are the types of capabilities ArcServe UDP can provide when you install the full component of the product. Backup and protect Windows and Linux nodes and virtual machines in VMware ESX servers or Microsoft Hyper-V servers. Store backup files at a central location, like a recovery point server. Replicate backup data to multiple recovery point servers. Create virtual standby machines. Restore Windows, Linux, or virtual machine data. And manage and monitor arcs of high availability. OK, so let's get started with a UDP trial download. To download the free trial for ArcServe UDP, go to the ArcServe.com website and click Free Trial. This trial download is basically a two-part process, which allows you to customize your evaluation environment to meet your individual needs. Now before you start to fill out the required fields here, make sure you're working on a Windows Server 2012 machine in order to install UDP. OK, so let's get started. Fill out these fields and then click Download Free Trial. When you click this, two things happen immediately. First, the UDP trial download begins. This first part of the trial download provides the complete UDP functionality. At the same time, you also access the second part of the trial download. This part of the process lets you add optional functionality for tape backups, Linux protection, and or replication and high availability. You decide which capabilities you want, and we'll make sure that functionality is included in your trial download. These additional features are explained in a separate video. When you launch the trial download, a zip file containing the ArcServe UDP component will be downloaded to your specified destination. After the download is complete, just click on the executable link to launch the installation package, and the license agreement dialog opens. Read and accept the terms of the license agreement and click Next. The installation type dialog opens. Select the type of installation, standard or advanced. Standard is the default type, which lets you install the agent or the full ArcServe UDP component, which includes the UDP console, recovery point server, and the agent. Advanced lets you install one or more of the components separately. In this video, I will install the ArcServe Unified Data Protection full component. It is important to install the full component on your backup server. You do not need to install the agent separately because when you perform a full component install, the UDP console will be loaded onto your backup server. You can then deploy the agent remotely from the UDP console to any of your physical production servers. Now, if the full component option is grayed out, it means that you may be attempting to install it on a system that's not compatible, like Windows Core, or an older system like Windows 2008 32-bit. Also from this screen, by default, the Install the ArcServe UDP Agent Change Tracking Driver is selected this driver lets you perform a local backup using the ArcServe UDP agent for Windows. Without this driver installed, the ArcServe UDP agent for Windows cannot perform a local backup. Now click Next and the Destination Folder dialog opens. From this screen, specify or browse to the location where you want to install ArcServe UDP. As you can see, this field is pre-populated with the default location. You can accept the default path or specify an alternative path. Click Next, and the Configuration dialog opens. From this screen, specify if you want to use HTTP or HTTPS for web communication. For more secure communications, HTTPS is the recommended communication protocol. You can change the communication protocol at any time after installation. Now enter the port number for the agent and the port number for the console. The port numbers are used to connect to the web-based UI, which creates a unique communication connection. The default values are 8014 for the agent and 8015 for the console. If you decide not to use 
the default ports, you can specify your own port numbers to be used. You just have to verify that the specified port number is free and available for use. You will not be able to install ArcServe UDP if the port is not available. Then enter the Windows Administrator username and password. Specify if you want to display the ArcServe UDP Agent Monitor for all users or only the current user. Now click Next and the Database Settings dialog opens. From the screen, select the database type from the drop-down list. You can select Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2 Express, which is the default and is good for as many as 2,000 nodes. Or if your environment is larger, you can select Microsoft SQL Server. After you select the database, specify the folder location where you want to install the ArcServe UDP database or accept the default path or specify an alternative path. Then specify the location where you want to install the data folder for the ArcServe UDP default database. Again, you can accept the default path or specify an alternative path. Please note that Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2 Express does not support remote communication. Therefore, you must install the default database and the data folder on the same computer where you're installing the application. Now click Next and the Firewall Exceptions dialog opens. The Firewall Exceptions dialog lists the services and programs to be registered to Windows Firewall as exceptions for ArcServe UDP. These are required if you want to configure and manage ArcServe UDP from remote machines. Confirm the exceptions and click Install to launch the installation process. The Installation Progress dialog is displayed, indicating the status of the installation. When the installation completes, the installation report is displayed. Now click Finish and restart the system. That's it. Thanks for watching. This concludes our video. Hope you enjoyed your trial experience with ArcServe UDP. For other videos and more information on the features and benefits of using this application, please visit the ArcServe Unified Data Protection Knowledge Center.